as I told you this spring, I, you know, sold a bunch of stuff in the spring. My boat, my Harley, the Harley trailers and tractors and tools and equipment that I didn't use anymore. And I was going to order a Kabuta sidekick and um, get an e-conversion for my old Chevy. Well, neither one of them has happened. I did order the sidekick and it was supposed to be here September, middle of September, but that ain't going to happen now. So... In the meantime, way back in the beginning of September, I decided I was going to throw a plow on it for um, just for playing with and stuff. And I went on Amazon and I um, I bought one of these uh, KFI open trail plows. I bought the push twos first, and then just a couple of weeks ago, when the sidekick never arrived, I decided, okay, I'm going to just throw this on my little tractor and um, have it on there with a the snowblower just to play with. So. You know, the plow is really, everything is really well made. Um, I went with the KFI because it's m totally made in America. So I really wanted to stick with that. And you can see the push tube is one assembly um, that you buy. And then there's also a bracket I bought for mounting on the sidekick, but that's no good. And then I went with a shorter plow for my little BX because it's got to be narrower than the snowblower when it's angled. So I went with a 54 inch. And there you see, this is made in the USA, in uh, Minnesota, I think. Really high quality, and, you know, it's basically probably nobody else will put one of these on a tractor like this. But I just wanted to, you know, kind of give you an idea of how nice they are and how adaptable they are. Well, a couple of weeks back, I started playing with this. I still was cleaning up the yard, trying to figure out how to mount it. So I just pushed it under there and... Originally, I was going to use the uh, holes from my uh, push bumper there, and I wound up uh, actually going back and mounting it uh, using the frame holes. But also, way back then, I did buy the winch for it. You're supposed to use a winch to raise it on a ATV. And also, I watched for sales on stuff all summer, and I, I bought a bunch of accessories for it. But hopefully, they'll get to be used someday, because I got really good prices on them all. But anyhow... Um, I got it mounted on there, and yesterday was the first day I felt good in a couple of weeks, good enough to go outside and do anything. And there you can see I had mounted it with, um, I had to add some brackets and some extra holes to my uh, push bumper there. And I took that weight bar that I had made last year, and I just welded on two pieces to mount a cylinder on. Figured I'd go with hydraulics on here because I wanted um, to do some other things with hydraulics and I did order all the hydraulic parts from Amazon a while back so they were sitting there so yesterday I decided to just put it all together and try to get it working and um, pretty simple thing you know just the cylinder and the valves are on the Kabuta already and I, I got it hooked up took it outside to, to try it out a little bit and you know nothing fancy but doesn't look real pretty but it goes up and down so um, uh, just to probably just for this year hopefully you'll go on the sidekick next year but this cylinder and brackets will be used for um, another accessory I'm making for the Kubota so I, I you know I do have one leak actually two leaks on it um, I found uh, and I'll show you them in a second but you can see I also have this snow blower on it this thing is just a beast it's just amazing but I have to keep these skids set up about two inches so I don't throw the gravel because it'll throw the gravel a hundred feet. So I figure I'll put the plow on, I can back up with the blower, go forward and clean with the plow, and here's my leaks. Um, the NPT fittings going into the quick connects, I did not have the proper compound for when I put them together anyway, so um, I do have the Loctite on order now, and that should fix that. But I just thought I'd you know, kind of show you how nice these little um, KFI setups are, and, they are adaptable to pretty much anything. Um, you know, most use a winch, but I just went with the cylinder because I just wanted to, um, I have other ideas for it later. So, in all in all, um, I think this will be a great, you know, a great little setup. And I bought everything on Amazon for this project. Um, and it, the plow comes with all the skids, really nice skids, and um, everything went together good and stuff. So, you know, I think it's um, it's really a nice option for, like, ATVs or UTVs and stuff like that. And they do make different brackets. You don't have to mount it yourself. So, you know, you could probably find something that would adapt to your application. And at this point in time, I'm not even sure that I'll have my uh, sidekick by next summer. It's just 
they've uh, just got so many shortages and they've pushed everything back. And now I just heard that uh, Kubota is kind of like pushing out the highest profit items first. So, you know, the sidekicks aren't that big a profit. So I guess I'll be waiting a long time. But in the meantime, you know, I've got it mounted on here now. Everything works. It's manual tilt, but I'll probably just tilt it in one direction and leave it um, just because I'll be working with the blower with it. So I just thought I'd, you know, share and uh, give you some good views of exactly what these KFI push tubes and plows look like. And, you know, I think uh, it's a great, they did a great job on it. And it's made in the USA, which is a big plus. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.